Hey Pagan family, Scarlett here. So I have a super casual video for you guys this week because I am moving at the end of the month. I will be leaving Chicago and moving to Dallas. And my place right now is quite a bit of a mess. And one of the things that I know I need to do before packing everything up is going through my collection of witchy and pagan items and doing a bit of decluttering. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'm going to be going through a bunch of random stuff that I have in various boxes and deciding what I want to keep and what I might want to give away. So thanks for joining me today. Um, this is a bit different than my usual kind of more research educational focused videos, but um, decluttering and materialism are topics that I have talked about on this channel before, so I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me through this process of decluttering. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I need to go through is this bookcase behind me, which is where I keep a variety of divination things like runes and tarot decks, along with some statues of different deities and a bunch of random Wiccan and Pagan books. So I think I'm going to end up keeping most of what is on this bookshelf. I do have some white sage still. I know it's controversial, but I actually purchased this um, a little while ago. And um, yes, I probably won't be purchasing white sage in the future, I know, but um, I figure I should probably use it while I do currently have it. And I do have just a few little knickknacks, things from my travels. This is from Korea. Um, this is from Russia. And I have my runes actually here in this spooky kind of Halloween um, skull here. That's where I keep my runes. So I'll, I'll of course be taking that with me. Down here I have a few knickknacks. Um, I have a little golem statue from um, when I used to live in Prague. I taught English there for a year. Picked that up in the Jewish quarter. Of course my crystal ball will be coming with me. And these are some of my most used tarot decks. I have my Rider Waite my Pagan Otherworlds, and my Thoth deck up here. So I think I'll be taking all of that along with some incense. I'll probably be keeping that. My Fountain Tarot, my Visconti Sforza. This very cool knickknack that I just love. It's um, picked it up in Korea, and it's got a variety of different compasses on it. And then I have... Um, a Swedish horse, and this is actually a beer cozy that I got in Estonia that has runes all on it, and I just think it's amazing. So that's definitely still coming with me. But when it comes to these last two shelves, gosh, I have some books here, and I don't know if I am going to be keeping all of them. Um, so I am going to go through those real quick and decide what will be kept and what will be given away. So after going through that bookshelf, these are the three books I'm going to be um, giving away and I'll have the details for the giveaway at the end of this video. Um, so this one was a really fun read. Um, this is written by Alex Kazimi, who was actually a guest on my podcast, the Cosmic Keys podcast. Um, this here is actually a comic book that I purchased because the main character is Hermes Tremistigus, and there is a ton of fun occult references in here, but I'm actually not much of a comic book person, so I thought I would pass this on. And then I have a copy of The Wanderer's Havamal by Jackson Crawford, and I actually got two copies of this, so I'll be giving away um, my extra copy as well. Okay, next is this giant box of random ritual tools and items that we're going to go through. So opening it up, first thing I have in here is a sword, um, which I do occasionally use in um, rituals, usually ceremonial magic style rituals. I'll be keeping this, of course. 
Let's see. I have a bunch of random tarot bags that I use um, for giveaways when I'm giving away like jewelry and different things. So I'll probably keep those. Fairy lights for photography purposes. Um, I'm not quite sure why these are in this box, but these are actually really fun for taking photos on Instagram. So I'm probably going to keep these. I also have this amazing wooden art piece that's been wood burned with an image of Thor and the world serpent. This was sent to me from a fan of this channel. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I love this piece. Um, let's see. I have a ton of tarot decks in here and I needed to decide which ones I'm keeping and which ones to give away. And in my bookcase, that's where I keep like my most used decks. So these ones are ones that honestly I probably don't use very often. So I'm going to quickly go through all my decks and decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to add to the giveaway. my tarot deck divided into a giveaway pile and a keep pile. So I'll show you real quick which decks I'll be giving away. So this is my keep pile and this is my giveaway pile. I know it looks like a lot but when you're a professional tarot reader and then when you <laughs> are on Instagram and on YouTube. A lot of people just end up kind of giving you tarot decks, so I've accumulated quite a lot over the past couple of years. But these decks over here are ones that I'm planning on giving away because I really just don't use them much. Um, this is a fun oracle deck called the Breakup Deck. This is a really beautiful oracle deck called Spirit de la Lune. Um, it's got silver edging on the cards. Um, this one I've used for a while, but it's no longer kind of my, my style. So I think I'm going to pass this one on. Um, this one is, is a great deck. It's a great beginner's deck, though I tend to use the universal weight version of the Rider Waite, so I think I'll be giving that one away. Um, this one was kindly gifted to me, which I enjoyed for a while as well. This is the Luminous Void Tarot, um, the Crow Tarot, Ancestral Path Tarot, and then the After Tarot, which is a really fun concept. It shows the classic Rider Waite images, but like the moment after. So here's of course the Two of Cups. So instead of cheersing, they are now embracing. Um, so it's a cute concept, but I think it's time to pass on these decks to someone that would really uh, appreciate using them. And then this is my key pile. So I have a lot of different styles of decks here. I have the Botticelli Tarot and the Mucha Tarot um, and the Ethereal Visions Tarot. Um, so those are kind of my art themed decks. Um, I have some decks that I purchased in Japan. Um, I have some, this is an astrology deck actually that's pretty cool. Um, this is another um, Japanese tarot deck. And then I have some few decks that I just really love um, the artwork on. So this is what I'll be keeping and bringing with me to Dallas. So finally, I need to go through the rest of the contents of this box, which is a random collection of various ritual items, tools, and jewelry. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to divide it in between uh, my keeping pile and my giveaway pile. So things like drinking horn, of course, that's coming with me. <laughs> Um, as well as this chalice, um, flower crown, can never have enough flower crowns, am I right? Um, let's see, this book, The Creative Tarot, I think that's actually going to go in the giveaway pile. That was a really fun book. A um, couple other books here, Witchy Crafts and Green Magic. I think those will go in my giveaway pile. 
And then I will probably fast forward this video so I can make this process a bit quicker for you guys. So I'm gonna do that now. guys can see this is a lot of stuff so I'm really glad I'm doing kind of a clear out here. So this is my key pile so all the tarot decks I'm bringing with me, different ritual tools, um, artwork, um, I have a lot of just random like jewelry items and pendulums and beads and stuff like that so I'm taking most of that with me. have some crystals, um, this is a bunch of uh, ritual glassware for group rituals and things like that. Um, yeah, so that's my key pile. And then this is my giveaway pile. So for the giveaway, I'm going to be, let's see, giving away, how many books is this? This is a lot of books. Six? Six books. <laughs> so I have Pop Magic, um, Wanderers, Havamal, Promethea, let's see, Green Magic, Witchy Crafts and the Creative Tarot. I'm going to be giving away these um, uh, tarot banners. So I have the moon, um, the star, and the sun as the banners that I'll be giving away. So let's see. I have some jewelry items, this cool uh, bracelet here. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. So it's really cool. It's got a pentacle on it. Um, it's got a snake on it. It's very witchy. It's just not really my particular style. So I'll be giving that away along with this um, moon necklace. Let's see, a, a triquetra necklace here. Let me show that to you guys. So this is the triquetra necklace with a heart in it so I'll be giving that away as well. I'll also be giving away this pendulum here um, which has a crescent moon and a cat <laughs> on the top of the chain and the pendulum at the bottom. Let's see for the decks that I will be giving away. I'll be giving away the after tarot, the ancestral path tarot, the breakup oracle deck, the spirit de la lune, the Night Sun Tarot, the um, Original Tarot, the Luminous Void Tarot, and the Crow Tarot. So now that we're at the end of this video, I'll tell you the details for the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving all of those items away to one lucky winner. Um, so I've decided to do this giveaway for my Patreon supporters um, because they are the reason I can have this channel in the first place and without them I probably wouldn't be able to create these videos each week. So if you are currently one of my Patreon supporters, you are automatically entered into the giveaway. And if you are not supporting this channel on Patreon and you would like to consider it, I will put the link below so you can join for $5 a month. You'll get extra content, you'll support this channel, and you'll be entered into this big giveaway to win all of those items. It's probably like a value of a few hundred dollars. I'm not quite sure all those tarot decks together in books, but thank you guys so much for watching and for my Patreon supporters, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel so I can keep on making these videos for you guys. And I am really looking forward to this move and I already feel a lot better that I went through this decluttering process for my witchy and my tarot and my pagan collection. So thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.